Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. At this point, you know the drill. Whether you call it a headband or ear warmers, this tutorial will show you how to make it. And there's a solid cable too for good measure, so let's have some fun. Speaking of, if you're into fun, exciting crochet wearables and accessories, you are in the right place. We have hundreds of modern crochet tutorials and patterns with more dropping twice weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, it's time to get on the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 50 grams of yarn, and that's 115 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us which animated dog you'd like to have as a pet. I would love to have Doug from Up. A cuddle buddy and intellectual conversation sound pretty great to me. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using 6 stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet. And double treble crochet. This tutorial is made for size small, but you can adjust for your size and explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this headband started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Then we're all going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain of 8 for every size. Now that we have our chain, we're all going to do our first half double crochet row. So block off that last chain and do a chain 2. That chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Then yarn over, and into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a half double crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Continue with one half double crochet into every chain. Our row 1 is now complete. Now let's get started on row 2, which is a single crochet row. So chain 1, flip our work, and insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through 2 with our first single crochet, and continue with 1 single crochet into every stitch. We are back! We have finished our second row. Now let's get started on our row 3, or our first cable stitch row. So we're going to chain 2 and flip. Now getting started for every cable stitch row, it is going to be worked into our previous odd number row, so since we're working on row 3, we're going to be inserting our hook into our row 1. And it's going to start with a front post treble crochet. So we're all going to start with a yarn over of 2. Finding the first half double crochet from our row 1, making sure we are not counting that chain 2, we're going to bring our hook down, underneath the body of that stitch, and through the other side. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through. Then from here, we're all going to yarn over and pull through 2 until we have one loop left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2. That is our first front post treble crochet. Now we're going to get started on our actual cable stitch detail. So let's all start with a yarn over of 3, preparing for a front post double treble crochet. Then, counting from row 1, we're going to skip the following two half double crochets. So we're going to skip 1 skip two, and then into the following two, one front post double treble crochet into each of those. So like I said, skip one, skip two, into that next, underneath, and pull through. From here, yarn over and pull through two until we all have one loop left on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is our first front post double treble crochet. 
one more into the following, so yarn over three times, into that following half double crochet from our row one, insert your hook underneath, through the other side, pull through. Then yarn over and pull through two until we all have one loop left on our hook again, just like that. Now from here, another set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches that we skipped over. So again, yarn over three times. Bring our hook down into that first skip stitch, bring it underneath, through the other side and pull through. And again, yarn over and pull through two until we all have one loop left on our hook again. There's our first one. We have one more skip stitch left to work into, so one more into there. So yarn over three times. Bring your hook down into that last skip stitch, through the other side, pull through, and pull through two until we all have one loop left on our hook. And that is a twisted portion. Now to finish up the cable, one front post treble crochet into the following two stitches. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook underneath the body of that next stitch, which should be the third to last, and yarn over and pull through two till we all have one loop left on our hook. We have another one left to do into the second to last stitch. So continue to pull through two till we have one loop left on our hook. Then we're always going to close off our row with a front post treble crochet, but since this is the last stitch, it will be combined with a half double crochet to secure everything down. So how we're going to do this is yarn over twice. Bring your hook down underneath the last stitch from our previous odd number row, yarn over and pull through. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have two loops left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We should all have two loops left on our hook. When we do, yarn over. Insert your hook into the top of that last stitch from our previous row, just like that, then yarn over and pull through for a total of four loops on our hook. Then to finish off the row, yarn over, pull through all four. And that is how that last stitch is always going to be done. And now this cable stitch row is complete. Now for every even number row, it will be a single crochet row. So chain one, flip your work, put one single crochet into every stitch, and then I'll meet you back. We are back and our fourth row is complete. Now let's get started on row five. So chain two and flip. So getting started on our row five or any cable stitch row, it will be worked into our previous odd number row. So since we're working on row five, we're going to be inserting our hook into our row three. Now it's always going to start with a front post treble crochet, and it is always going to end with our front post treble crochet as well. That's kind of just there to frame it off. So to do our first front post treble crochet, we're going to yarn over twice. Bring our hook underneath the body of our row three's front post treble crochet, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now to get started on the actual cable stitch detail. For row five, we're going to start with a set of two front post treble crochets into the following two stitches. So yarn over twice. Underneath that first stitch, pull through, pull through two, 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 and another front post treble into that following stitch. So yarn over twice. Underneath, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Then what we're going to do from here is a set of two front post double treble crochets, skipping over the following two stitches. So yarn over three times. We're going to skip one, skip two. Into the third to last and into the second to last, one front post double treble crochet into each. So pull through, pull through two, 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 two. Another one into the following. So yarn over three times. Insert, pull through. Pull through two, 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 and two. Now we're going to be worked into those two skip stitches, but working underneath those two stitches that we just made. So getting that started, we're all going to yarn over three times. We're all going to hang on to our working yarn because it can very easily fall off and pull our hook down towards us, finding these two skip stitches through that window. So we're going to pull our work down. And these are my two skip stitches. Here's one, here's two. This is my first one, so I'm going to bring my hook down underneath that first one, pull through, and finish up our front post double treble per usual. So pull through two, pull through two, two, two. 
and this is what the twist should be looking like. We have one more left to do. So yarn over three times again. Bring our hook down. Finding that last skip stitch, bring your hook underneath that stitch and through the other side, pull through. Then yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And that is the cable stitch detail. Now we're going to close off our row with our front post treble, but since this is the last one, it will be combined with a half double. So start with the yarn over of two. Into the last stitch from our previous odd number row, we're going to bring our hook down. Underneath the body of that stitch, pull through, then yarn over and pull through two until we all have two loops left on our hook. And then when we do, yarn over. Insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four, and now our row five is complete. So now that our row five is complete, like I said, every even number row is a single crochet row. So chain one, flip our work, and put one single crochet into every stitch, and then I'll meet you back. Our row six is complete. Now to get started on our following row, we're all gonna chain two and flip our work. We are back and our row six is complete. Now from here, we're all gonna chain two and flip. So for this cable stitch detail, it is going to be a repeat of our rows three through six until we get a portion that can wrap around the entirety of our head. So just to get started on the following row, which will start with a repeat of row three, we're all gonna start with a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice. Into our previous odd number rows, first stitch, insert with our first front post treble, Then we're gonna skip the following two stitches and one front post double treble crochet into each of those. Then once we have that, one front post double treble crochet into the two stitches that we skipped over. Then close off our row with two front post treble crochets. And then the last stitch is a front post treble crochet combined with a half double crochet, so the same way that we've been doing it this entire time. So like I said, from here, it is going to be a repeat of rows three through six until we get a portion that can wrap around the entirety of our head. Then I'll meet you back right after we finish up a repeat of row five. And then I'll meet you back to seam it together. We are back and our cable stitch detail is complete. Now I have a total of 61 rows. My length is roughly 18 and a half inches or 47 centimeters. This can wrap around my head. So now we're going to seam the two ends together. So all we're gonna do is just fold our work in half, making sure that the cable stitch detail is along the inside because when we wear it, we want to make sure that the seams are along the inside. Then we're gonna be inserting our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. And now that our hook is in through both corners, we're gonna yarn over and pull through everything, do a chain up of one to secure. And now from here, we're going to do a single crochet seam. So we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into that first stitch into the front panel, first stitch into the back panel, and single crochet around everything. Again, into that next stitch into the front panel, next stitch into the back panel, and single crochet around everything. And we're gonna continue doing this, making our way all the way down till we don't have any more stitches left. Now that our seam is complete, we are all going to chain one and flip our work right side out. Now from here, we're gonna get started with a single crochet row just along the edge of our cable stitch detail. So all we're gonna do is alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row, starting with two single crochets. So all we're gonna do is find our first side row, this is mine right here. I'm gonna insert my hook in through there with two single crochets. So there's one, and then there's two. Now into my next side row, the next side row may be a little bit hard to see because it is a side single crochet row, but we're just gonna find that top loop and insert with one single crochet. Let's do that again. This is my next side row. Insert with two singles, so there's one, and then there's two, and then this is my next side row, so find that top loop and insert with one. That's it, we're gonna continue doing this, making our way all the way around, and then when we don't have any more side rows left to work into, slip stitch into that chain space. But as a really quick tip, this single crochet row is going to be as wide as this portion can stretch. So once we've made our way all the way around, go ahead and try on your piece, making sure that the single crochet row isn't too tight. If it is, reduce some stitches with a looser grip, or if it's too loose, reduce or if it's too loose, reduce some stitches with a tighter grip. 
All right, so my single crochet row along the edge is complete. Everything fits nicely, so we're gonna get started with our following row, which is gonna be a half double crochet row. So we should have all slip stitched into that chain space. What we're gonna do from here is chain two and simply put one half double crochet into every stitch. So just yarn over into that first stitch, pull through, pull through three, and that's it. Continue with one half double crochet into every stitch, make our way all the way around. So we are back. Our half double crochet row is completed. Now we're gonna close it off and get started on the band. So how we're gonna close off our half double crochet row is we're gonna count up the next two available stitches. So closing off our half double crochet row, we're all going to count up the two chains that we made when we got started on this row. So here's one, here's two. Into that second chain, we're gonna insert the slip stitch and that slip stitch doesn't count as a stitch, that's just to connect. Now from here, we're gonna get started with our band. So from where we're at, we're all gonna make a chain the length that we'd like for our band to be. I'd like for mine to be just about a half an inch. So I'm gonna start by making a chain three. There's one, two, three. Now from here, we're all going to block off that last chain, do a chain one. That chain one doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. Now we're going to slip stitch all the way down. So into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're gonna insert, yarn over, and pull through everything on our hook. To do the next one, we're going to insert our hook into that following chain, yarn over, and gently pull through both of those loops on our hook. We wanna make sure that we're pulling through gently so that the following row isn't too tight to work into. And continue with one slip stitch into every chain until we reach the base. And once we have reached the base, we're all gonna connect it by slip stitching into that next available stitch. So to connect this first row, find that next available stitch. We're going to insert with a slip stitch, just like that. Now that slip stitch into the base doesn't actually count as a stitch, that's just to connect. Then to work our way up to the following row, we're gonna slip stitch into that following stitch into the base, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So finding the last stitch from our previous row, not into any of those slip stitches into the base, we're gonna insert into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us, then yarn over and pull through everything. Again, into that next stitch's back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and then again, into that next stitch's back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Now we're gonna continue on with back loop slip stitches into every stitch till we reach the end of the row. Once when we have, we're all going to chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again until we reach the base. And now that we're at the base again, slip stitch into that following stitch into the base, just like how we did our previous row. So slip stitch in that next available stitch. That connects this row, and that also doesn't count as a stitch. Then to work our way up to the following row, slip stitch into that next available stitch, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and that's it. We're gonna continue with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch at the end of the row, chain one, flip our work, and repeat. We're gonna continue to repeat our two previous rows until we don't have any more stitches left to work into, and then I'll meet you back so we can seam everything together. Alrighty, so we are back. We've made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows. We don't have any more stitches left to work into, so now we're gonna seam it all together. So we're all gonna start by making sure that our work is flipped right side out, right side up. Then we're gonna insert our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel and do an outside loop slip stitch seam. So what we're gonna do is yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. We're all gonna start by finding that first stitch into the front panel and insert only in through that front loop. Then we're gonna find the next stitch into the back panel and insert only into that back loop. Then when we have those three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And that's it. We're gonna continue doing this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut. We are back. I have just finished up seaming one of my bands. Now from here, we're gonna repeat everything we did here on the other side. So all we're gonna do is make sure that our work is still flipped right side out, right side up. Then we're gonna insert our hook into the side row that we have that's nearest to our seam. Start with our single crochet row, our half double crochet row, then the same band that we did with the seam. Once we have that, do a chain up a one and cut and then I will meet you back. We are back. 
we have just completed the second half of our piece, which is basically just mirroring the first side panel and the brim, and that's basically it. Now that we have everything completed, we are all done. So the last thing we're gonna have to do is just weave in all of our ends. And there you have it, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye.